Hey everyone, welcome to Tarot Mystic 1111. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Leo, oh sorry, for Virgo um, and Virgo placements and Moon Rising Venus. Let's see Oracle messages for you Virgo. What does Virgo needs to know? Messages for Virgo. What does Virgo needs to know? If you want to book a personal reading with me, then the link is provided in the description box below. Okay, let's see. Messages for Virgo. We have occupation yeah that's so typical of you Virgo because you are really hard working and I feel right now you're just focused on something maybe you know it could be a project you're working at or um, you're just busy with your job or whatever it is that you're preoccupied with you're totally you know focusing on on the job at hand you're maybe um, improving your skills at work or trying out something new but I see this that you're very passionate and hardworking, putting in all the effort working 24 7 but yeah something that you're busy working at right and then we have despair okay so I feel that there's also something that's keeping you up uh, at night you know keeping you anxious and worried you're just kind of really really nervous and worried about something here right maybe it's it's about money maybe cash is tight and it's it's like you're working really hard but then money is not coming along and you know that's something that you could be worried about for others of you i feel you're very much focused on somebody here and maybe i don't know that person is just not so interested in you <laughs> all right so but i do see this as a work situation as a money situation um something is not working out for you and you're really desperate you're getting desperate you know you're worried you're anxious and yeah i mean but i feel whatever this is will go your hard work is going to pay off it always does you know when you really really um putting in the effort um into something it really gives you the fruit of your labor right so we see the tarot messages for you this is for Virgo what does Virgo needs to know Virgo and Virgo placements Sun Moon Rising Venus what does Virgo needs to know All right, we have three of swords. We have judgment. Okay. Somebody broke your heart or you broke someone's heart. We have the moon. Oof, nine of swords. My God, somebody is really having panic attack. Virgo, is this your energy or is this a person you're dealing with? But I feel there has been something really terrible has been happened. Um, you know, somebody really broke your trust or something really went down. It could be in, even regards in regards to a money situation, your career, job. But I do see that somebody is, is really anxious, nervous. Could, he, could You know, when the moon and the nine of swords, they show up together, it means depression. So I see somebody going... I mean slipping into depression here and then we have we have three of pentacles yeah i see this definitely as a work related situation but just take however it may resonate uh, with you virgo um but i feel you know there, there's something some sort of change that's happening for you 
now it could be also in regards to your career your current job you know maybe this is just not satisfying you maybe the amount of effort and hard work you're putting in it you're not getting the rewards for it right it's almost like you know you're not even happy forget about reaping the rewards you're not even happy there you know so i feel there is some sort of a change that's happening underneath and for now i mean you're just kind of really really feeling sad and worried and anxious and you're having sleepless nights maybe this is about a project that you've been you know collaborate in you you you've you're collaborating with other people so other people are also involved and all this is making you nervous because things are not you know going according to your plan right money could be tight and something is just bothering you here virgo that's how i see this right but um but a lot of change is also happening for you here bottom of the deck seven of seven of wands yeah some some sort of a challenging situation is you 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 right now facing virgo in your life this could be in at your workplace maybe there are people who are you know putting up a lot of challenges um in your way or you know maybe you've been backed in a corner or you know it's just like um it it's it's just that you have to stand your ground here so i do see that some sort of a challenging situation you're finding yourself right now uh and yeah with the seven of swords so yeah four of cups i feel that Virgo, there is um deception you know whatever this is about there is deception there are people around you who are trying to um i don't know <laughs> who are not being honest with you i i see lies i see betrayal i see cheating here people not being honest with you right so i think that's something that you're kind of worried about or maybe this could be even your own energy virgo you are trying to run away from something you're trying to get away with something here and you're saying no to something else or somebody else if this is a relationship virgo and that's what you're heartbroken about right or maybe somebody broke your heart then you know i feel that's something that has really hit you hard virgo it 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 almost feels like you had been giving in so much to this relationship to this connection you have been giving your all you know you've been working hard and you you want to give in that equal amount of effort into that relationship but this person broke your trust this person wasn't being honest to you right and now you're saying no to this this energy here right you might be even trying to tell yourself that you don't feel anything for this person and you're saying no you don't want to get you know you don't want to get out of your comfort zone right so yeah there there's a lot of i mean misunderstanding miscommunication self sabotaging behavior self denial going on here we have the four of cups and then we have the king of wands oh no we have the four of cups and then we have the ace of wands yeah so i feel there is something new here that's that's showing up for you virgo but then you know you're you're just you don't want to see things from a new perspective you're too busy looking in the past i don't know why right and that's why it's leading to self denial and self sabotaging behavior in you Virgo right and i feel with the ace of wands there's definitely something new or somebody new that has stirred your feelings there's a lot of passion with this person you feel really attracted to this person here but then you just don't want to admit this to yourself you're behaving in an emotionally withdrawn way you don't feel connected to this person at all or that's something that you might be wanting to tell yourself because you are just kind of stuck in your old ways you don't want to change yourself you don't want to change your thought patterns your belief systems you don't want to accept anything new but you're just stuck in your old ways right okay so that's something that's kind of bothering you Virgo but again you're heartbroken here right and you you really need to you know let go for now because i feel that you cannot control this situation whatever is going on in your life virgo right now even if this is in regards to a relationship a strong connection you feel for somebody or at even at your workplace you know in regards to your career or job whatever it is you have to let go for now because i feel things are changing for you some things you know sometimes we just need to let go we just need to forgive and rise above the situation so i feel that 
even though you know you might be very, feeling very nervous anxious worried right now that the situation is not improving you're in dis- despair right you feel like you're almost trapped you're 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 having these negative thoughts you're overthinking but these are are your own fears you know once you let go of them once you surrender to your higher self you'll see the situation will automatically transform it will naturally tra- transform and something new will you know some sort of a solution will appear but right now you you're just mentally um too attached with this whatever is going on in your life so when you are in that kind of um zone mentally nothing can change for you Virgo so you have to first mentally declutter yourself from whatever the situation you have to detach from the situation you have to let go you have to surrender and then you will see that solutions will appear in your life and also if this is your energy Virgo then you know what success lies out of your comfort zone but I see that you're not willing to change yourself you're you're stuck in your old ways you're in self-denial you're self-sabotaging you're maybe you know not being honest with yourself that's what i'm seeing here okay um please clarify this reading for virgo what else does virgo needs to know clarify the reading for Virgo. We have the hangman. Yeah, see, I told you, you know, didn't I, that you, you need to surrender, you need to let go of the situation, you know, you need to take a break, you need to take a pause and kind of see the bigger picture because you're not you're not seeing the bigger picture you stuck on your own um thought patterns you're stuck in your own thinking here stuck in your old ways not trying to shift your perspective right then we have the fool yeah you really have to let go because i feel that there is some sort of a new beginning that's coming your way and this new beginning wants you to take a risk wants you to take a leap of faith so there's a new cycle that's unfolding for you yeah we have the Emperor, Four of Pentacles. Someone's really holding back from you. This could be an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries, strong Aries energy or Aquarius. Five of Cups, yeah. Yeah, I feel that this is a situation, Virgo, that you're still kind of, you know, grieving the grieving and mourning the loss of this connection something has ended between you and this other person and this other person seems to be an aries may or may not be but this person is definitely holding back you know this person is is really not expressive with their emotions this person has their own insecurities and fears uh, around expressing themselves could be a little bit stubborn also i feel very insecure person here but they um they're also controlling and dominating like this person for some of you it could be also your divine masculine um divine counterpart but i feel that um this could also be you know uh, for those of you you know in in this uh, work situation or if this is a work reading that's resonating with you virgos and i feel somebody in authority here I mean, it could be also your boss who's kind of creating um you know obstacles for you challenges for you and this person is really strict they like order and structure rules you know uh, at the workplace so that's something that might be kind of bothering you but for others of you i feel that um in a relationship that has ended it's really breaking your heart and you know it, it's it, right now it's not the time to move forward to be honest virgo right now it's not the time to move forward i feel you really need to um take a break here right now you need to surrender and let go of this situation once you do that you will see that new beginnings will um you know it will un- it's 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 gonna unfold for you right and i also feel that um it's it's almost like i don't know but you know this person they kind of hold themselves back they have difficulty uh, releasing control this person is really controlling and they also control their emotions <sighs> 
for some of you i feel money could be tight because this is your energy four of pentacles work so i feel money could be really tight right now maybe there is a project that you had been working on and it didn't go according to your plan or something failed and you know you're kind of having a lot of regret um and it's something you know it's just a loss for you but then something new is also on its way you just have to be a little bit patient here uh don't fall into depression or don't have these panic attacks because i see that you're really really going crazy right now you just need to take a break maybe just take some a uh, time off from from these projects or from your work and you know kind of just go out and chill have a nice time yeah bottom of the deck wheel of fortune so definitely there is a change that's coming your way good luck is coming your way you know good fortune you know we the wheel of fortune is like it says that the universe is making things work for you but then this is also about divine timing so everything will happen in divine timing right now i don't see is the time for it because we have the hangman and the judgment and when these two strong cards show up it means that it's right now is a time for letting go surrendering to the higher self and seeing the bigger picture you know so just be patient with yourself whatever you dealing with whatever heartache trauma panic attacks whatever this is you know grief remorse regrets just that it just process these feelings you know process these feelings and then surrender then just let go and feel yourself you know with these two cards just feel yourself being liberated from from that burden that you carry within yourself right you will be liberated from so many things i tell you when you just kind of gracefully ease into that surrender mode and it's not easy you know when i say surrender it's not easy surrendering is something that really you need to work on it but it comes with practice all right you can master it it's many people have mastered the art of surrendering right so it's not difficult but then you know when you can't do something then the universe makes you do it that's how it works so better that you can uh, take charge of things and you know um work through your feelings work through your fears and just kind of relax right now because i do see that a change is coming your way and you know you just have to kind of get out of your comfort zone and face these challenges and also if this is if this is your energy work go then you need to really work on your um self denial self sabotaging behaviors try to see things for what they are try to see things from a new perspective don't try to run away from your thoughts your own feelings you know get into that mode of acceptance right and you will see things working out for you because i feel with the ace of wands something new is coming your way maybe a new creative project that might um give you whatever you were looking for or this is definitely a relationship where there'll be more passion you know this person will be passionate for you they'll be protective of you right so give things some time i feel this is like um it's going to take its own time right virgo so that was reading for you let me know in the comments below if it resonates with you if it resonates with you or not and please do like share and subscribe to my channel and see you on your next one thank you so much for watching